What's up? I'm Triple Shoot. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to run DDU to get a clean install of your NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel drivers for hopefully better performance and fixed issues if there are any. So without further ado, you probably know what DDU is. Let's go ahead and do it. First of all, we need to get a few things prepared. You'll need to download the latest copy of your driver from the NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel website, as we won't have internet access in just a moment when we reboot our PC a few times. This is to prevent Windows from downloading an older or possibly broken version of our driver, so having the latest compatible version downloaded is the best thing to do before we even DDU. In the description down below, you'll find links to download the NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel drivers from their respective websites. This is the NVIDIA download website, or at least one of them. When you come here, simply punch in your product type, most likely GeForce, product series. In my case, it's a 1050 laptop, so I'll select 10 series, followed by 1050 from the drop down here. The AMD and Intel websites will be very similar to this, you'll select graphics card, followed by your series and your product version number. Once you've got everything down, make sure you have the correct version of Windows selected. I'm running Windows 11, so I'll choose Windows 11 here, but the steps are the same for Windows 10. Then we'll search and download the latest game-ready driver. Download. This will place on our desktop just so we have easy access to it in the future. Now we need to go ahead and download DDU. In the description down below, you'll find a link to this website. You'll be downloading the latest version of DDU. Simply scroll down and choose one of the download mirrors over here. Then save the zip and open it when it's done downloading. We'll extract this file over here, DDU, to our desktop over here. Now we can close this and run DDU in order to extract it or extract it to our desktop and you should now have a new DDU folder. Delete the DDU installer, which we just unzipped, and inside of the DDU folder over here, you'll find the actual program itself. In order to get everything done, we need to boot into safe mode. This will stop Windows from interfering with our driver as we're uninstalling it, so simply hit start and type in msconfig as such. Open system configuration. And inside of this window that pops up, select the boot tab at the very top, followed by ticking safe boot over here and selecting minimal. Otherwise, you can select network if you've possibly forgotten to download the driver. Click apply and OK. Now we'll need to reboot our system in order to get into safe mode. Don't worry if your background is black or anything else seems a bit weird. We're in safe mode, which means that it's going to load as few drivers as possible, allowing us to cleanly uninstall our graphics driver. So we'll restart. Once you've rebooted into safe mode, it'll be super obvious that you're in it. Hold start, which is the flag key, and press R to bring up this box over here. Inside of it, we'll be typing in msconfig and hit enter once you've done so. This will open up the same window. Head back to the boot tab and make sure that safe boot is turned off. Then click apply and OK. Then you're prompted with this. Simply click exit without a restart. Now open up your DDU folder, followed by finding display driver uninstaller. Once it opens up, you'll see a window that looks like this with a bunch of options. All you need to do here is read through the options and at the very bottom, there's one that you should pay particular attention to. If you can't see the very bottom, which is advanced options, you can grab the very top, shrink it down vertically and push it up so we can see the close button in the bottom right. Scroll all the way to the bottom here and you'll find prevent downloads of drivers in Windows Update. Simply tick this, click OK, and we can click close. This will prevent Windows from downloading an outdated or possibly broken graphics driver when we reboot normally. Just keep in mind that in the future, you should reopen this app and uncheck this box over here so Windows can properly download drivers for your system. Alternatively, you could leave this tick box unchecked and instead unplug your Ethernet cable or turn off your Wi-Fi. This is just safer to prevent Windows from downloading a broken or older graphics driver, so I'll tick it and we'll click close here. Now, on the far right, click the Select Device Type drop-down and select a GPU if that's the driver you want to clean and install. Then, from the next drop-down, select your graphics manufacturer, NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. In my case, it'll be NVIDIA. At the very top left, we'll be clicking Clean and Restart as we've already turned off Safe Mode and we prevented Windows from downloading updates automatically. Again, if you didn't tick that box, unplug your internet now. Clean and Restart and we'll wait for it to completely remove our graphics driver. When it reboots, we should be back on normal Windows, and the first thing we'll be doing is running the graphics driver installer. It'll finish in just a few minutes, and it'll reboot your system. And there we go, we're back on normal Windows. Now we can open up our graphics driver installer, click yes, OK, and we'll wait for the installer to start up. 
From here, you can customize all of your options as you see fit, or if you prefer, you can run something like NV Clean Install to get a customized driver install for a slightly better performing system. That, of course, is a separate video, and you'll find that linked down below. For now, I'll leave it as the default NVIDIA graphics driver, agree and continue, express, and there we go. Now our graphics driver is installing. Once it's done, close, and now just before we delete these two files over here, DDU and your graphics driver installer, open up the DDU folder, open up DDU once more, and just make sure that when you click options at the very top, at the very bottom, prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update should be unchecked. Click OK, close, and exit. There we go. Now you can delete both of these files as we're completely done running DDU. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.